Hey, it's Kay, and I made green eggs and ham from green eggs and ham. You don't like green eggs and ham? No, I do not like them, Sam, I am. So the first thing was to fill up a glass bowl with water, just enough to fit a slice of ham. And then I added an excessive amount of food coloring and then mixing it with a fork until I realized there were better options. Then I gently put in the slice of ham and put it away so we can just soak the color. For the egg, I did something similar, pouring water into a small container and all of the food dye I could squeeze out. I regret how much food dye I wasted. Anyway, I gave it a mix using a whisk, not a fork. And then I put it aside and got a second container and one not so green egg. After struggling a little bit with the egg, I managed to get the shell out and then I separated the egg whites and the egg yolk. Even though it feels really weird in my hand, I think this is the easiest method. And then I dropped it in the food dye water thing, the water food dye mixture. So after 45 minutes, the ham looks like ham, very weird looking ham. And because it was still dripping, I got a paper towel and made sure to get all that water off very gently with a lot of love and care. And then it's time for the little ham to warm up a little bit. So first onto a sheet pan and then into the oven that's making some strange sounds for 10 minutes at 325 Fahrenheit. And now it's time to finally cook the eggs. Well, the singular egg. So first I sprayed it with oil and then I gently dropped in the egg whites, which just refused to stay in the middle of the pan. And then the greenish egg yolk. Because the egg yolk contains a lot of fat, if you were to try and recreate this, I'd recommend an oil-based food coloring with oil instead of water. Anyway, I got a plate and gently dropped the egg. Remembered I left the green ham in the oven, so I took it out and then just put it onto the plate. Again, very gently. Then I grabbed a fork and just stabbed the ham. Oh, and I can't forget the salt. And then it's ready to serve. So if you're wondering what this tastes like, it tastes exactly like regular eggs and ham.